Welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide and in this video, we'll compare the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra and the Dreamy L10S Ultra, two of the most versatile robot vacuum options with their do-it-all base stations. I previously compared Dreamy and Roborock products, namely the S7 Max V Ultra and this same Dreamy robot. The S8 Pro Ultra is a newer version of the S7 Max V Ultra with upgrades in the mopping and brush hole system that may or may not be a deciding factor for you depending on what you prioritize. The L10S Ultra is Dreamy's first with a do-it-all base station and one of its best products to date with vacuuming and mopping efficiency. I've spent many hours testing these products in various facets from navigation, obstacle avoidance, cleaning performance, and more. There's a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra and Dreamy L10S Ultra represent the next wave of robot vacuum development. Versatile do-it-all robot vacuums with enough built-in functionality to be autonomous for long stretches. These robots do everything, well, almost everything. But these brands do it differently. And we'll look at how these variances should affect your decision. The S8 Pro Ultra is Roborock's latest flagship and introduced two new features, the dual roller system and a second agitating element in its mopping module they call Viberize 2.0. It retains the same do-it-all base station with the water tanks and bag aligned horizontally, plus the wide auto-empty port. So it's basically a similar design to the S7 Max V Ultra with some minor variances. The L10S Ultra is Dreamy's flagship and it's first with a do-it-all base station, having pad washing and self-emptying features. Dreamy's base station design is more common than Roborock. Other brands use similar designs with the water tanks on top and a bag in the middle. And this is what we'll look at first in this comparison. While both options have versatile base stations with pad washing and self-emptying features, their designs vary. One similarity is that both have separate clean and dirty water tanks, but that's about it. Their pad washing mechanisms and auto-empty ports are different. The S8 Pro Ultra uses a bristle brush component that slides back and forth against a single pad to dislodge and clean dirt. The L10S Ultra has a ribbed component where the two discs spin against to clean. Regarding cleaning efficiency, I'd go with Roborock's bristle design since it provides better agitation with the stiff bristles. The Roborock pad looked cleaner after several pad washing cycles than Dreamy's pad. One downside with Roborock's design is more wear with the bristled brush than the ribbed component which will last the robot's lifetime since it's made with good quality plastic. Another variance is the auto-empty port. The S8 Pro uses a wider port connected directly to the brush roll, whereas the L10S port connects to a dedicated slot behind the dustbin. There's not much difference with the self-emptying performance as both did well at this task. Since both robots use slider, there isn't much difference in navigation. Both will start the run cleaning the edges before going in a back and forth pattern in the middle areas. Both have access to the crisscross pattern in select modes. And both have a three-pass run again in select modes. The coverage test results were nearly identical, completing the second pass run around two minutes apart. And both got most of the debris out by the second pass. Again, this is another similarity. Both have containment features available through the app, namely no-go zones and invisible walls. No-go zones are off-limit areas that consumers can draw on the app preventing the robot from entering these areas. The invisible wall acts like a virtual wall, blocking the robot from going past it. This feature is very helpful because it can block diagonal areas, which isn't possible with the no-go zones feature. Part of navigation is the height of these robots, since it affects their ability to go underneath furniture, which is one of its greatest advantages. And since these products use slider, it has a protruding cover to protect the laser sensor, adding to its height. The Dreamy L10S Ultra's total height with the lighter cover is close to 4 inches, while the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is taller at 4 inches. These measurements are the tip of the lighter cover, so add a few centimeters plus the height to determine if any of these robots will clear the area underneath your furniture. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra and Dreamy L10S Ultra have front-mounted obstacle avoidance sensors for detecting and evading objects. One difference is that the S8 Pro uses an all-laser system, while the L10S Ultra has a front camera flanked by lasers. I tested both on obstacles like pet feces, wires, footwear, and a weighing scale to see how well these robots could avoid them. 
Both were decent with most obstacles, especially stuff like footwear, which is easily detected as the algorithm fires and detects these items through the app. I give the slight edge to the Roborock S8 Pro since it was better at avoiding coiled wires and pet feces. But don't rely on these robots to avoid stretch wires since both will get too close and there's a high probability of the side brush tangling on them. While both robot vacuums have agitating elements, their designs are different. The S8 Pro is different from most do-it-all robot vacuums in how it agitates stains. While most brands use spinning discs, Roborock utilizes a different design with not one but two vibrating elements, which they call Vibrarize 2.0. It's a similar design to the first version, but this one has a second agitating element, increasing its efficiency twofold. One downside to this design is that the mopping module is fixed, unlike in the S7 Max V, where the mopping bracket is detachable. So consumers must pull out the robot and flip it over to remove it. Also, the S8 Pro has a non-detachable built-in water tank behind the robot that the base station refills during the pre-mop cycle, extending its range. The Dreamy L10S Ultra also has this water tank, which I missed during the previous videos. It has the same design as Roborock's version, where the base station refills it, but at a smaller volume of only 80 ml. Also, the L10S Ultra uses a more common design, two spinning discs similar to numerous other brands. So it has less mopping range. And I tested both at cleaning virus stains, namely red wine and juice stains. The latter is notoriously tough for most robot mops without an agitating element since most would stall. It wasn't an issue with these two as both did quick work getting everything out after the first pass. So there's no difference based on the eye test. However, one limitation of these products is neither can pick up liquid. While the pad can absorb some grime, it leaves residue on the surface. So I don't recommend either for mopping sticky stains. Both options have a mop lift feature where the pad lifts slightly to avoid carpets. But it isn't high enough to avoid the surface. So I'd recommend using the no-go zones instead to block these robots from going over carpets or rugs. App options will vary because of the design variance and what function each brand wants to prioritize. For instance, the Dreamy app only lets consumers adjust the pad humidity level or its dampness. The Roborock app has more. Consumers can adjust the scrub intensity because of the vibrating elements on the mopping module, and also select from four different root options. If you look at the advertorials for these robots, the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra has a higher rated Pascal figure at 6,000, or 700 more than the Dreamy L10S Ultra's rated figure. But not all brands disclose Pascal figures, so I use another metric, airflow, using an anemometer. Like the previous Dreamy and Roborock comparison, the Dreamy L10S Ultra wins this category since it has more airflow in all the power settings. Higher airflow robots tend to do better in vacuuming surface debris, regardless of surface, which is the case for the Dreamy L10S Ultra, at least on hard floors. The L10S Ultra got a few percentage points higher on this surface, even with the agitation advantage of Roborock's twin roller system. And the higher airflow is the single biggest reason for this. It made cleaner passes, and if you need something for cleaning only hard floors, this would be the better option. However, the S8 Pro's twin roller design is better on carpets, especially embedded sand. It got nearly 10 percentage points better in the deep cleaning experiments, and is clearly the better alternative on this surface, thanks to the extra agitation from the second roller. A slight edge goes to the Dreamy L10S Ultra with edge cleaning, as it got more debris off the edges. Another plus with Dreamy's higher airflow is it was better at cleaning hair, more so on shorter 5-inch strands. Both struggled with longer 7-inch hair, though the L10S Ultra was better, but only slightly. These robots have apps consumers can download to maximize their functionality and autonomy. QR codes are available on the robots for quick access for download. The L10S Ultra has two options, the Dreamy app, which is in beta mode, or the Mi Home app. I tried the Dreamy app, but the features were limited, so I used the Mi Home app, which is also compatible with robots from other brands. There are a lot of similarities between these apps. Both have a live map feature showing the robot's location in real time, and both have access to a 3D map. Though Roblox version is better, 
since it is integrated into the main interface, so there's better usability. While Dreamy's 3D map is mostly for show, since it's in a separate area away from the primary interface. Both have the same containment features, namely no-go zones and invisible wall. Both have map-saving features and the benefits to go along with it. Features like selective room cleaning and zone cleaning. Both have access to a three-pass run with a crisscross pattern accessible through the selective room cleaning and zone cleaning features. Both have an obstacle recognition feature showing a graphic of the detected object. So you get the picture. These apps are really close in terms of features. There are variances with vacuuming and mapping configuration options, which are expected due to design differences. But there isn't any feature that makes one app stand out. Despite the higher airflow, the Dreamy L10S Ultra is the quieter option, only maxing out at 63.6 decibels. While the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is noticeably louder, exceeding 70 decibels at the highest setting. Both robot vacuums use the same capacity, 5,200 milliamp hour lithium-ion battery. Dreamy has a longer rated runtime at 210 minutes or 30 minutes more than the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra. But runtime shouldn't be a deciding factor since these robots are highly efficient and have recharge and resume. So if for some reason it doesn't finish cleaning, it will dock, recharge, and continue the task where it left off. Another similarity is the mapping run, where the motor is shut off and the robot goes into exploratory mode for map creation. One advantage for these brands is it has slider, so it takes advantage of its 360-degree scanning ability to create maps in a fraction of the time compared to a traditional run. Despite the huge price variance, these robots are extremely close in terms of navigation, vacuuming, and mopping performance. Navigation is virtually identical as the Dreamy L10S Ultra has all the features of the S8 Pro Ultra, including the three-pass run and crisscross cleaning pattern. Both were efficient at mopping, even hard to clean juice stains, removing them after the first pass. Though the Roborock's bristled washing component is better at cleaning the pad, at the cost of replacing it due to wear. The Dreamy L10S Ultra is better on hard floors since it has more airflow. But the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is the better option on carpet because of the twin roller system. The S8 Pro Ultra is slightly better at obstacle avoidance because it avoids pet feces and cold wires better. But both struggled with stretch wires, sometimes avoiding them, but most times getting tangled. The biggest deciding factor for me is the price. Whether the innovative features introduced by Roborock with the S8 Pro are worth it or not. I'd only recommend it if you need something for vacuuming carpet, and that's where the dual brush roll system excels. If you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you and consider giving this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful. It goes a long way in growing this channel and reaching more consumers. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new comparisons like this and have a bunch lined up. Links are in the description below for more information about these robots. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.